category for visual arts for reflections, please follow these steps for the two dimensional pieces. No matter what the size, please make sure it is attached to a cardboard. If it is on a piece of paper like this, you must make sure it's attached to a sturdy board. Or if you would like to attach, uh, place it into a mat board, just like our photography pieces, that is okay also to do. But just make sure it's attached so it's not a flimsy piece of paper because it makes it difficult to place the entry form on it and it makes it difficult for the judges. If you are using a canvas, such as this, please make sure it is not on a wood frame. The wood frame will have to be removed and you will have to place this on to a piece of cardboard also. Also acceptable is a board, the canvas boards that are thin. These are already on cardboard and do not need to be remounted. If you are doing a photo collage, you should make sure there are no loose edges on any of the pieces. Make sure it's securely fastened to the cardboard. Please no glitter on any of the projects. Once you have completed your visual arts, 2D visual arts, you will want to place your entry form into a plastic sheet protector and attach it to the bottom, the back side of the entry form. The category of this year, which is 3D art for this, I don't have any examples and I apologize for that, but we must be able to move it to be displayed. It must include packing materials for us to transport. You will have to have three photos of your piece. This is for judging, IDing your piece, and display per pieces. If it is possible to take a piece of masking tape and label the bottom of your piece with your name, the title of your piece, what art category it is, and the grade division, we would greatly appreciate that. Once you have the, those items done, you will place the three photos into a manila folder. You will then place a plastic sheet protector on the front of the folder along with your entry form inside the folder. This will help us to keep the two things together so that they will be able to be judged. Finally, when you have completed your entries, you'll need to do one last step to prepare it for the city level. The visual arts, whether it's a, a photo collage, a drawing, a painting, depending on whatever you do, you will just need to add the Velcro hooks to the back side. Depending on the piece, you will need two, three, or possibly even four. If it's a heavier board, you'll probably need four. And then this way it will be ready for display. The 3D visual arts, we will have tables set up at the city level competition to display those uh, that way. And one final thing to remember with your visual arts projects. Please do not put your name on the front of the canvases anywhere on this. The judges do not want to see the name of the person that is doing the, pro uh, the visual arts piece. As an example for visual arts, we invited Heidi Posh, a former Rosedale Elementary and current Stevenson High School art teacher, to explain to you how she tells her students to come up with great ideas for a visual arts project, whether it be painting, markers, crayons, colored pencils, you name it.